presence, your presence. Hallelujah. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. The Lord is here. He has established his name. And we shall reign forever. The Lord is here.
time ago that I'm going with God. I don't care if nobody don't talk to me no more. I done let go of everybody. And I got great peace. I got great peace. I got great peace because you know why? Not saying I'm better than anybody because I'm not. I ain't better than nobody. No, let's put that out there. I ain't better than nobody. The difference between me and a lot of people and I'm not speaking for everybody. I'm willing to go out of the way, they not. So guess what? They can't be in my circle. They can't be in my uh, arena. Because they not willing to go out of the way. I am. So guess what? It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. It ain't gonna work. You know what I'm saying? You try to go out of the way in the Lord, and then you got some that just stragglers. They just, just hanging around. They just hanging around. They love God, but they're not willing to sacrifice for the Lord. All right, I'm back. I gotta cut my Wi-Fi on. But I'm on fire right now. I was in here worshiping the Lord, and I'm on fire. Look, let me, let me tell y'all something. Let me tell y'all something. In life, we lose things. We even lose things that's dear close to us. That's life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm not making excuses because we lose things in life. I'm just telling it like it is. But when you know, when you know for a shadow of doubt, like I know, who's in your corner, that's who you need to be leaning on. And right now, I lean on the everlasting God. And I'm not being religious. I'm being for real. Because I have no support from no one. The support that I get comes from God and who he sent my way. Amen. And God got a purpose in everything. I'm not saying that I hate my family. No, I don't hate them. I don't hate my kids. I don't hate my, my ex-friends and, and people that I was associating with. And I'm not talking about everybody. But that's a time and a season when you got to move on. Amen. That's a time and a season you got to move on. Because if you don't move on, it becomes a hindrance. It becomes a stumbling block. Especially when you know God got greater for you in your life. And I know God got greater. Here it is. I sent the email weeks ago to contact the mayor. Guess what happened today? The mayor came to my job. I said, that's the mayor. So I got off the rest. I went to him. Introduced myself. Told him that I had sent, you know, an email and stuff. And of course, he said he'd been receiving a lot of emails. And I let him know a little bit of my um, a background and what I do. And let him know that I do ministry. I do um, help out in the community and stuff like that. And especially where I was brought up in. From or whatever. And then I got used me to give him an encouraging word today. And I told him. You don't deserve to be mistreated the way our people been mistreating you. And he just held his head down. He just held his head down. He said, yes, you're right. And it's the truth. And I'm so ashamed of my black people. It's ridiculous. Because they've been giving that man a hard time. Because Rihanna got killed. The way she got killed is wrong. And we want justice. But you want to do it about the right way? But to come up against that man, yelling at that man, cussing at that man, is wrong. And then we wonder why us black folks, we can't get no help. Why we can't get no support. I didn't do this to get no recognition. I didn't do this to be known. Because the Bible says, here, make your name great. I ain't out here trying to make my name great. I ain't got to do that. My name already great. In the eyes of God. As long as I still beat into God to do what he tell me to do. But anyway, held his head down, y'all. And he said, yes. And I said, I'm right there with you. So whenever you free, whenever I'm free... One of us called, I gave him my business card, he gave me his, and we're going to come together and, and come up with a plan to bring peace in the community. Because that's what God put on my heart to do. You know what I'm saying? So, I gave him and I gave the assistant my information, his assistant gave me his card and we talked, and man, we bumped elbows or whatever due to COVID or whatever, you know what I'm saying, and all glory belong to God. Amen. We need to give this man a chance and we need to pray for him. 
It's only so much that mayor can do. And there's so much the governor can do. And we need to do better in our approach when it comes to authority figures. And man, this man is literally risking his life out in the community. A couple of times he didn't even have no security. Going in the black community, trying to reason and make peace. That's all he tried to do. So I'm led by God to reach out to him and God sent him my way. And we had a conversation today. So keep me in your prayers as God begin to start opening up these doors. Praise God for me to do what God put on my heart to do for the sake of souls and to reach people for Jesus Christ. So people will know who Jesus Christ is. Amen. To bring about a change in the community, especially the black community. But in order for the change to take place in the black community, we need to change ourselves. In Jesus' mighty name. Y'all be blessed. Hallelujah. All is well. I pray this video bless everybody. And remember, the only way, the only way out is in God. And I'm not coming to you being religious. I'm not like everybody else. I am real and straight to the point. And God got me set aside for such a time as this to do what he put on my heart to do. Because he's that type of God. And he will do the same for you. Be blessed in the Lord. Bye-bye.